Good morning. Sorry, I missed the uh, uh, the countdown there. Well, extra bonus stream. Uh, Star Trek Online. I've got a Temporal Agent a recruitment drive on, uh, which gives an opportunity to start a new character. Uh, and I thought I'd just do this one on stream. Um, talk through uh, the character creation, which is quite simple, and. Uh, just start off partly because I wanted to document uh, the, the story myself and um, what better way of doing it than sharing it with yourselves so I've obviously logged into the game and I've got up here choose a uh, new character choose your character I've got a whole variety of characters down here some of which I've streamed and some of which I haven't and I'm going to click on new character so by default you've got these options to choose a faction um, overall it really comes down to uh, you've got Starfleet and you've got Klingon Defence Force uh, Discovery Starfleet very quickly joins up with the uh, uh, the ordinary Starfleet it's from a different era this is from Star Trek Discovery uh, era um, which is set before James T. Kirk's uh, original series and of course TOS stands for the original series of Star, uh, Star Trek and uh, that's also quickly joins up with, with Starfleet yeah there's some changes but not a huge amount Romulan Republic you we've actually created one of those and after a short period of time you choose do you want to join and work alongside the Klingons or do you want to work alongside Starfleet? And the same goes for Dominion. Dominion is something brought in during the uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine series. Uh, so we're going to we want to create a new temporal agent. I've got an ad break coming up. I think if anybody wants to see this uh, desperately, then they can do it through the, uh, the VOD. So, I won't do any of the story, but I'll create the character. So, we're going for the uh, TOS Starfleet 8. Um, and that's here. And you can see on the right hand side, there's the Temporal Recruitment events. Play a new character of this faction during the event and play that character to earn incredible account wide rewards. To be honest, my account's already got these rewards, but I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, the advert break is half over. None of the other ones have this option. You can see there. And of course, we did created a Klingon um, stream and we ran that advert break ends very shortly so just wait for 17 seconds so as you can see Starfleet as uh, the, star the exploration exploratory scientific and diplomatic defensive agency the United Federation's planet charted in 2161 and my community is back right so we're going to go with Starfleet a TL, the original series Starfleet and you can see here's the recruitment event click on that click next in this particular sub faction you've only got the original races for the Federation humans and Dorians Tellarites and Vulcans now in all fairness there ought to be some others there to tie in with the, the era that it's supposed to be representing but hey what the heck it, those are the races that we saw on the silver on the screen hello those old scientists yeah good that you could join us uh, Patrick um, I'm surprised you're not in uh, riser at the moment so I'm going to create, I've got an idea for a Vulcan character that I want to create. It's slightly out of scope for what you'd normally expect Vulcan to do, but I'm going to do a Vulcan. And 
going to there we go no no I didn't it, right I am choosing you've then got a choice of do you want an engineering officer a science officer or a tactical officer somewhat self-explanatory uh, engineering tends to use devices uh, uh, to sort on in ground combat science tends to use uh, what would appear to be it's daylight ah no riser in daylight ah okay you mean rises only for vampires um, science officers are more like space wizards if uh, in, in some senses <laughs> maybe okay uh, space wizards it's a it's a pejorative but at the same point it does actually sum it up fairly well uh, but they can also be healers as well and tactical officers are the weapons officers uh, specializing in weapons um, and it's unusual for a, a Vulcan to be a tactical officer in canon but that's what I'm gonna go with it's not impossible right I have a particular character in mind so my character I am saying was as a youngster as a child uh, a sole survivor during a cling after a Klingon attack on a Vulcan spaceship and that she has taken head injury uh, and the scarring on the left side of her head which is why she she has chosen to go with this very unvulcan hairstyle. Um, a colouring, I call it. I'm quite happy with the colouring. Uh, advanced. I want to actually put that scar on, but it won't really show up because it's going to be under the head. Right. So if we. Also, it's not going to show up, is it now? Let's drop it to no hair for the moment. There's the scar. some senses it's more representative than anything else and it's just to really provide a bit of background to how I see this character there's the okay uh, I think yeah we'll go with that just to fit what I have got imagined. Uniform will leave, but no, we won't. We'll change that to. Pioneer Command. Because the ship that. The original ship to start off with is a Pioneer class ship. You have some choices, uh, presets. Right, name. Mecklenburg. Yeah, why Mecklenburg? Why not? A day job to do. Come on. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, you're more than welcome here in the stream. Right. The first time playing through any of one of the uh, you, you have to do the tutorial but if there's a recruitment event on for that particular faction or sub faction then you've got to do the tutorial as well as well so I have no choice if I was doing this normally I would get a choice here but big deal right we have some ground traits um, and I am going to uh, stop and and go away rifle and in space 
I'm not going to pretend that these are the most effective, but it's what I am going with. Right, so proceed with the tutorial. I don't have a choice. Gotta go. You go.